So how does this even come close to tying in with what we were doing, right? Because what we do has to tie in with what we've done. Otherwise, it's just random material, right? So we're going to take those ideas that we were looking at with the Redanos, and we're going to mix them with the same idea of this block defend. Okay, so again, he's going to be the feeder, okay? So I'll hit the hand, send it back. Now this puts me on my closed side, right? And that's my hack. So we go back to here. Just like the idea of when, um, you know, when we were doing the, the metronome drills, okay? And what we did, we hacked and redondo, right? So instead of the hand now, it's just the face. And that sets us up. So he checks one, two, three, four. You guys understand? So we're now we're connecting, okay? If all you get is one angle, that's fine. You don't have to get all four of these, okay? Because we have 12 angles, you can do it off all 12 angles. Does it matter if you can do it off, 12, all, off all 12 angles? Not really. It doesn't really matter. Because if he throws an angle one at me, I can hit it. But if he throws a two at me and that's all I know, I can still hit it. If he throws a three at me and I only know this first one, I can still hit it. If he throws the four, I can still hit it. If he throws the five, I can still hit it. So if you only get one, that's fine. Because knowing how to apply one thing to multiple angles is almost more important really than knowing how to individually deal with individual other angles. We want to be able to broad spectrum apply principles, right? Or at least I want to. And so these are some of the ideas we look at behind the Armas Kali. How do we teach the functional first, then get into the fancy.